Good morning. Welcome to Friday's edition of uh, Devotions, Daily Devotions with Pastor Paul. We're in our 21 days of fasting and praying, and uh, I hope this is going well for you. Haven't said this yet. This is my little tagline. Wherever you are, however you're joining me, I'm glad to have you with me this morning. More importantly, much more importantly, I'm glad to have you along this this uh, journey of fasting and praying. Uh, maybe you've given up social media for 21 days. Maybe you've given up uh, lunch. You've given up, you know, you're doing a clean eating or you're doing a Daniel fast. Um, I hope and pray that uh, this has been a rewarding uh, time for you spiritually. Um, like I said yesterday, it gets a little tougher. We're in these these tough points. I'm tired. Uh, I'm sleeping a lot more. And uh, I don't know if that's some of it's still residual from COVID. Um, but uh, yeah, this, is, this has been a tough week. I'm sure it's been for you. And that's all right. Um, kind of my point in saying that to you is not to whine, but to kind of um, just say to you, we're in this together. It is tough. Um, the, the, the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing. Um, and so we just, we just keep um, pressing in to what God has. So hang in there. Keep going. I want to encourage you. I appreciate you uh, being on this journey with us. If by chance you um, you haven't been fasting with us, you can still jump in. You don't have you, you don't have to feel like oh I didn't jump in now. Um, jump in tomorrow. But you know uh, do a week with us. Uh, whatever it is, uh, jump in and and be part of what God's doing here at Shoreline. Um, pretty cool stuff. And and would you do me a favor? Um, share. You can you can send an email. Uh, send it to info uh, at sccbranford.org. You can comment uh, on our Facebook page. Um, would love to to hear from you. Those those times of encouragement are amazing, and they're so helpful for um, for all of us. So. Um, would love for you to share your story with us. So, okay, I'm not going to take as much time as I did yesterday. Um, I want to jump into uh, into my content today. Um, peace. I, I had another topic for today, and I really felt God just, just say to me, no, I want you to talk about peace today. Um, there are so many areas in life that derail um, or that try to derail our our peace. It can be um, changing jobs. Um, it can be getting a promotion that can be very unsettling, much more um, responsibility. Uh, you, marriage, you know, we almost always because marriage is it's two different people coming together and. And sharing life, and it's it's tumultuous, and it's tough, and it, it takes compromise and 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 um, understanding uh, your kids, um, your financial issues. So it, listen, it could be as simple as the fact that we haven't seen the sun. It feels like in months, like it has been these last this last week has just been dark, followed by dark, followed by dark. As you can see in the background, we got a little bit of bright shining through today. I almost want to put on a pair of shorts and, uh, you know, get a, get a, go out and suntan. Um, I mean, it's, it, it's been dark this week that can, that can, you know, bring a sense of depression and, um, not to make it worse. If that's your, we're looking at snow tomorrow, uh, and then cold weather. It's like, ah, oh, I hate winter, you know? Um, and you may be thinking, why didn't I take that job down in South Carolina? I should have, uh, you know, it's less pay, and, but I, uh, I'd be down where it's warm. I don't know. But anyways, there's, there's different things that go through that want to derail our peace. I love this story in Mark chapter 4. It's found in the other Gospels, but Mark talks about they're on a boat and Jesus is asleep. And the storm comes, and the disciples freak out. Let me stop here. Maybe you have a storm in your life right now, and you are the disciples, you're freaking out. 
Why am I not getting this promotion? Why is my company downsizing? Why is my car breaking down? Why can't I get a date? Why um, is my husband? Why is my wife? Why are my kids? Um, I mean, why is the gas prices so high and, and, and I have to travel? And, um, you know, why, why, why? And you're, you're in a place of a storm in your life. You, you just, you know, you've got COVID, you, you've got cancer, you've got stomach problems, you've got an ulcer, you, you know, it could be physical. Um, there's so many different avenues we could go down here. There's a storm in your life and you're like, ah, where is God in this? And you feel like the disciples, Jesus is sleeping down in the bow of the ship. And you're like, you got to be kidding me. And finally, they go and they wake Jesus up. Here's what it says in the message Bible. In the message translation of the Bible, it says this. <clears throat> awake now. This is Jesus. Jesus is awake now. He told the wind, watch how this is worded. I love how this is worded. He told the wind to pipe down, and he said to the sea, quiet, settle down. Look at this next line. The wind ran out of breath. The sea became smooth as glass. The wind ran out of breath. Catch that this morning. The storms in your life are temporary. The storm in your life is going to run out of breath. Now, you have a decision to make. See, this is where peace is found in the midst of the storm. Do you trust that Jesus is able to speak to your storm? And even if he does not speak to the storm, he's with you in the storm. I preached about this a few months ago, that the safest place you can be in a storm is where Jesus is. In your storm right now, I can promise you that you can have peace if you get your eyes off the storm and get your eyes on the one who's in the boat with you. Sometimes Jesus doesn't speak to the storms. Sometimes he allows the storms to rage around us. But the peace is in the fact that he's in the boat with us. The storms that we face. I don't like storms. I don't like the storms of my life. I overreact to them just like you do. And I wonder why God's allowed me to go through them. And I'm wondering why I did something stupid to make it happen sometimes. And I'm wondering why. And, 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 and then there's the moment that we have to just stop and go, Jesus is here. He's in the storm with me. I'm not alone. And Jesus is enough. I love this from John chapter 14, verse 27. Jesus is about to depart. He's about to leave his disciples. And he says this. Oh, hear this this morning. If you're going through a storm or if you're, you're just not finding peace, you're, you're, you're troubled, your soul is, is an old word, vexed. Jesus said this, I'm leaving you with a gift. And you go, oh, Jesus left us with a gift? What is it? Peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Jesus has granted to us peace. doesn't say that there aren't storms. doesn't say there isn't going to be difficulty and tough times. As a matter of fact, we think we had tough times. These guys were martyred for the cause of Christ. Yet they had peace. They had peace because he's in the storms with us. The Holy Spirit that Jesus left with us, his Holy Spirit, is with us. We're never alone. You're not alone. He's there in the storm with you. Maybe you need to ask him to speak to the winds, to the waves, and that the, they'd run out of breath. Or maybe you just need to remember or be reminded that he's in the storm with you. And you, where you are, you can have peace. I pray for the peace that passes understanding that guards hearts and minds through Jesus Christ our Lord. Be our portion. 
be with us. I pray that anyone who does not feel your closeness or your nearness, I pray today that you would snuggle up to them and remind them that you are present. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, God bless you. Thank you for a couple of minutes of your time. I will see you tomorrow.